Here's another great stop on We Love Detroit. I've been waiting for this. I've been excited about it. We're at the Utica Antique Show with my buddy Dale. What's happening, Dale? How are you, Larry? Hey, man, this is really, really great. This is something that you can bring the whole family, spend the day here, and see some exciting antiques. Because, you know, I love this kind of stuff. You know, as we were riding around on the car, I keep wanting to jump off the car to go see some of this. Right. Stuff. Yeah. So tell me about it. Tell me about the show. Well, the show started out in 87 at Packard Proving Grounds, and it grew to be too large over there, so we landed up coming here at Knights of Columbus Grounds on 21 Mile Road, one mile east of Van Dyke. And okay. 25 acre park, and we got plenty of room here. We got all the vendors, we got the food. So tell me about the show. How, how often is it done? Three times a year Mother's Day, okay. weekend after the 4th of July, and the weekend after Labor Day. So tell me about your vendors. Well, the vendors come from all over the Great Lakes region. Some of them come as far as from Florida and Texas. Well, I had one vendor from uh, Texas say they got to come up here to Michigan. Okay. Sherman came through and burned all the antiques in, <laughs> in the south, so they, they got to come to the north. Still blame it on Sherman. Oh, yeah. Hey, it takes the vendors to make this whole deal work. I'm here with Russ Stocks, is it? Right. Yes, sir. And how long have you been coming to the Utica Show and been, a, been ever, part of it? Ever since it started over on the Ford Proving Grounds on Van Dyke 40 years ago. Okay, so tell me about your, uh, your, your event here. We uh, do nothing but large furniture, uh, tables, lamps, rewire lamps, refinish furniture for people, refinish our own. We travel around, do shows all around the city in Detroit, uh, locally, suburbans, out of town. Uh, we just do a whole lot of furniture. And I understand it's a family affair. It's a family. My two sons are in it with me, and uh, they're set up out here as well. They, we have two other spaces out here at Utica Show, and uh, they're doing quite well. So you have it. Here's one of our vendors. The show wouldn't happen without the vendor. Thanks, yep. Russ. Yeah, no problem. Thank All right. you. All right, cool. And I know you got to have some great stories. Oh yeah, I, I one one story in particular is a, a lady was walking around here looking at different stuff, and a small child rocker caught her eye and she looked at it, you know, and she's thinking to herself she had one just like that when she was a little girl and she picked the rocker up and her name was written underneath it. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. No, and the lady was 60 I mean, years old, wow. so that, you know, that rocker, you know, what's the chance of finding your childhood so rocker? So what's the odds of that? What's the odds? Now I noticed that your daughters as I came in were taking tickets, so this is a family affair. Yeah, oh yeah. How I, do you make all this happen? Well, we start setting up the tents and everything and we get the family going. Okay, and sounds like a fantastic thing to do. Listen, if you're looking for something that's different and you want to come in, spend some time with your family, make sure you come to the Utica Antique Show three times a year. Three times and a year. And make sure you talk to my buddy Bill. Thank you, Larry. Come on down. <laughs>